Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Are you doing good? Do you feel happy? Do you feel tired? Do you feel silly? How do you feel today? I feel kind of silly. I hope you're feeling good and you're, you're having lots of fun and you're ready to sing our morning song. Ready? All right, bring out your sign language hands. Bring them out, bring them out. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Welcome to preschool, boys and girls. Let's do our calendar. Are you ready? We have to count to see what comes after our name. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten comes after nine, and then it's the tenth day of what month? Let's sing our months. You ready? Let's snap today, okay? You ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. And it's September. S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R. September. Let's figure out what day of the week it is. You ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today the day is Friday, Friday, Friday. Today the day is Friday, all day long. Yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow will be Saturday. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. What day is it? It's Friday, right? So today is Friday, September 10th, 2021. That's today. Let's do our seasons. You ready? Flowers, pumpkins, swimming snow make the seasons we all know. Every year is the same and we give them each a name. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. Count the seasons as we sing. Four seasons and we are still in summer, right? We're in summer for a couple more weeks, but that's it. All right, let's go check your weather. Penelope, go look out the window. Are you ready? What is the weather? The weather today. Is it sunny or cloudy and gray? Is there rain? falling down. Is there snow on the ground? What is the weather, the weather today? Listen to Penelope and she will say. Penelope, what's your weather? Okay, fill out your chart. I'm going to fill out my chart. Today it is hot here and it is sunny. It is feeling very, very summery today. Okay. So we need to review our letters, remember? We're working on two letters. Do you remember what sounds they make? This is B, right? B, B, like belly or ball or basket. B. This is I, I, like I, glue. I. All right, time for a lesson. And we're gonna learn about spelling your name. Week one, day three. Name dinosaur. So you'll need your dinosaur, and then you're gonna need all of your letters. So we need to turn all of our letters facing the same way, right? Because that's the only way we know how to read them. Our name is gonna spell out his spine all of his scales on his spine. You know if they're upside down because you need the curved part to the top. Oops. All right, 
So we're going to do Penelope's name today. Do you see any letter that starts with Penelope? What does it start with? A p, p sound, right? A P. Can you find a letter P? I found one. I'm going to put it over here because Penelope is a very long name. So we're going to have to fill up our whole dinosaur, which means it's going to be really cool because he's going to have lots of spikes. All right, what's after P? I think an E comes next. E. What comes after E? N. P E N. What's next? E. P E N E. What's after that? P E N E L uh, sound, right? Let's see. What comes after that? Penel O O. Letter O. Hmm. Penelo. P -p what else do we need? We need another letter. P -p P. P. Penela. P. E. We need another E, right? Hmm. Where do you see another E? Do you see one? Penelope. Look at that dinosaur and how many spikes he has. That's a lot of spikes. I want you to keep practicing and try to spell your own name all by yourself. Let's sing a song about this old man. Ready? This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack. Daddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack. Daddy whack, give a dog a bone. dinosaur he's large he's green he likes to roar and sometimes likes to have a little drink so have you seen him in the sink or could he be outside the door please have you seen my dinosaur I have not seen your dinosaur there's no such creature anymore I have not seen him in the sink he would not fit in there I think I know he's not outside the door I have not seen your dinosaur I've got to find my dinosaur. He's never once been lost before. He's hard to miss. He's very large. He's larger than the river barge. He likes to take a nap at four. Please help me find my dinosaur. 
I cannot find your dinosaur. There's no such thing, not anymore. A dinosaur cannot be found. From the deepest deep to the highest ground, from shore to ship or ship to shore, you will not find your dinosaur. I lost my dinosaur today. Do you suppose he ran away? Could he be hanging from a kite or somewhere in plain sight? He likes to watch me comb my hair. This morning, though, he wasn't there. I thought that he was in the shower. Oh, he can shower for an hour. He might be in the big desk drawer. Please, have you seen my dinosaur? You say you've lost a dinosaur? A strange thing to be looking for. A thing as tall and wide as that, you won't find underneath a hat. If, you, if I were you, I'd get a cat, a dog, or a bird, or a small white rat. Have you seen my dinosaur? It's tea time, it's his turn to pour. Now let me see, what have we got? A lynx, a minx, an ocelot, plus two new, a, a pink, a Jew, camels with one hump or two, a big black bear from Baden-Baden, and a Scottish bestie from kool -Aid -in. a shaggy yak from Farbaden, an upside down orangutan, a fat wild boar from East Timor, but no, we have no dinosaur. There aren't any anymore. We do not have your dinosaur. I need to see Professor Pew. I'm Pew, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a dinosaur. What kind is it that you're looking for? His tail is longer than a mile. His neck is longer still. His smile gets wider every time I see him. You need to try the big museum. Is this the place where people say a dinosaur is on display? Sure is, look, now let me think. It's tough, cause we've got a lot of stuff. Look, statue made by ancient Greeks. To name them all would take me weeks, but not a single statue here is of a dinosaur, I fear. These paintings are all very rare. No photos, please. Stay back. Take care. No dinosaur in here, I'm told, although our paintings are quite old. Of course, they're dusted now and then by trusted, well-trained handyman. Here, here's what you're looking for. Here's where the di you keep a dinosaur. It lived a long, long time ago. 200 million years or so. 200 million years ago? No, 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 no. That can't be so. This is what I came to see. My dinosaur is five, like me. A year ago, we were both four. Where is my dinosaur? I've got to find my dinosaur before he misses one more meal more. But where a dinosaur might go is something I am no one seems to know. My mother did not have a clue. The fishermen did not come through. It sent the whole police force to. I got no further at the zoo or when I saw Professor Pew. The big museum had nothing new. So what, oh, what am I going to do? I think you should ask is you. Have you seen my dinosaur? You have? He's where? Say that once more. A dinosaur's a kid's best friend, but hide and seek is hard. The end.